I'm gonna get you out of here, alright? I'm gonna get you out of here. Close the casket! Close it! God damn it! Close it! The drama meets indie horror. We are talking about. Whoa! This one is directed and written by Matthew Goodhue. So, what is the story of? Whoa. Okay, so it focuses primarily on a brother and sister, and kind of a, a young adult uh, brother and sister, and. They are dealing with the death of their father who committed suicide uh, by carbon monoxide poisoning in his car. Now, uh, the brother seems to be not dealing with it particularly well. He's living in this kind of his father's house, doesn't seem to be um, sociable. He's kind of locked himself in, seems to be ignoring everyone, doing various kind of jobs around the house and things like this. His sister, uh, who has this kind of husband that looks like Silent Bob, um, is kind of at kind of odds with him to a certain degree, uh, and they don't quite know what to do with kind of like the the house and the, and the car, etc. However, things are complicated when there there may well be some type of supernatural force that may be responsible for the death of the father, and maybe affecting the offspring as well. And it might be down to the kind of the crazy uncle, Uncle Pete, to shed some light on the kind of the situation. What will happen? You have to watch the movie to find out. Or even if you watch the movie, I feel in this case, you may still not know what's happening. Um, so, okay, let's talk about what I think worked in this movie, and then I'm gonna circle back to that. Okay, I think the most interesting character here was Silent Bob. Uh, okay, it's the, it's the husband of the sister, who is this kind of park ranger, who's kind of park comedy relief. But I gotta say, I really enjoyed his character, and he seems one of the most kind of like, you know, the, like the most patient husbands you could probably ever imagine. He seems like a genuinely nice guy who tries to care for his kind of his brother-in-law, and, uh, you know, a, a kind of a really uh, interesting character who is a little bit of a doofus, but, you know, he's, he's, you could have really root for him. The interesting thing of this movie, there's no real central character. It kind of flits between, ultimately, uh, the brother to some degree, and then, and then this kind of like the, 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 this girl's sis uh, the sister's husband, more so than the sister in actual fact. Uh, but it kind of makes it like almost feel like somewhat of an anthology in a weird way because you kind of feel like you're getting snippets of story from it, kind of really the three main kind of protagonists. There are some quite spooky imagery here. We have these huge uh, cloaked figures that seem to be looming in the kind of the darkness with kind of glowing red eyes uh, that, that do look pretty effective, I've got to say. And uh, I, I kind of really enjoyed the the, uh, the scenes here with um, Uncle Pete, uh, played by, is it James Russo? Yeah, James Russo, who is, you know, is a kind of a, uh, I kind of quite liked back in the kind of the 90s, he was kind of like a 90s uh, straight through DVD guy. It's nice to kind of see him in, a, in another movie here. However, I've got to be honest with you, I didn't really have a clue what was going on in this film. Uh, now, the, it could be psychological, it could be a psychological horror, or it could be a legitimately... Um, Supernatural horror. I gotta be honest with you. I really didn't get it. Um, to me, this feels like a quirky, somewhat art house kind of drama with some maybe supernatural elements. And if they're not supernatural, they're kind of psychological. Uh, but I gotta be honest with you. I think the plot here is a little bit um, deliberately confused. Now I get that the, the point here is that people are dealing with grief and. Uh, potentially mental issues, and maybe the film is trying to portray how that is kind of feeling. However, as a narrative, as someone who is watching a story, I've got to be honest with you, I didn't really get what the hell was supposed to be going on here. I try to come at it from the point of view of the, 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 the kind of the, um, the brother-in-law, who is really not connected to the, obviously, 
biologically at least to the kind of the brother and sister and he seems to be the one who is um, the most kind of clueless and that was kind of fine until he kind of got to the end and then honestly I didn't really know what the hell was going on um, so to me this film was really mixed narratively I liked some aspects of it uh, maybe I don't know it, I just didn't really get what was supposed to be happening to be quite honest um, the movie is also very slow and we have characters on screen a lot not saying much with the exception of I say that again the brother-in-law but our actual brother and sister barely they don't really ever speak hardly um and I don't know we're, even with we're things with them there's not a huge amount of dialogue so it becomes like a, a little bit of a strange movie it's well filmed I would say this on a technical level I think this movie is proficiently made and I quite like the direction in regards to, um, you know, a production standpoint. I think it's actually kind of well filmed. It really kind of feels like a kind of a, a 90s indie kind of drama in a lot of ways. And I do think there's some value in that. But I do think the kind of the relationships that these characters have with each other is interesting. So the, the, I like the individual relationships and, the, and, I, and I kind of quite like some of the quirkiness. But I've got to say, as a story, just I don't really know what the hell was going on. Now that could be me, you know. I could have I could have missed the point here or something. But I feel if I'm missing the point, other people will kind of miss the point as well. So I really don't know if I can say this movie would be a must-watch for people. Only if you could have like weird, quirky indie films like Life Aquatic or something like that. Um, it kind of you know it kind of feels like one of these sort of weird off-kilter films that is going to kind of be like a, a popular with a certain kind of like a like somewhat art house crowd but for the majority of people I think although there's some interesting character choices here and I think the acting's pretty good but as a story I don't think it certainly is a difficult one to to watch and really kind of digest and um although it has again some good horror imagery in it I just didn't really understand the context of it so i will say i you know maybe someone will get this movie more than me but for me personally i'm gonna have to give it a five out of ten because i just didn't find it engaging the story just didn't grab me because i didn't really get get where it was going and i think it was just being a bit too vague and a little bit too kind of like uh, you know off kilter and quirky for its own good and ultimately it becomes a little bit kind of um uh, untouchable you don't really feel like you're going along for the ride so it's a five out of ten for me have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i shall look forward to seeing you next time bye for now